Do I regret not investing in the all day IPO? Hmm. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark, and in this channel, I talk a bit about lifestyle and a lot about personal finance and investments. So several videos ago, I shared with you my plans to invest in the then upcoming IPO for Robinson's Land Commercial REIT and the Mega World REIT, also known as M REIT. Now, if you've kept close tabs on the local Philippine stock market, you would know that these last two weeks, the last week of October and the first week of November, all the craze has actually been about the all-day supermarket IPO. Now, I actually had plans to make this video before the IPO. However, I got a little busy. And to be perfectly honest, I wasn't excited about that IPO. I may be the minority here, and this might be the unpopular opinion, but here are my reasons why I did not invest in the all-day supermarket IPO. Do take note that I'm filming this on Friday, November 5. What I know so far is that the all-day IPO doubled in its first day, consolidated a little bit, and was only up by 50%. It's been fluctuating, and I think by today, Friday, it's up by 5% again. Regardless of how the stock is faring, my opinion has actually remained the same, meaning that these are my observations even before the actual IPO. So as always, I'm not a professional advisor, nor am I a certified business analyst, but these are just my observations. All right, so let's start with reason number one. I'm not really sure how to put this, but even though All Day Supermarket already has 33 branches in its few years in operations, I'm just not sure it has what it takes to really dominate and to really slug it out with the major players in this industry. So as looking at their branch list, what I've come to see is that a lot of the All Day Supermarket branches are actually within the developments of the Vistaland Group the same group that owns the company. And for lack of a better term, I'm using Vistaland Group as a general umbrella to call Manny Villiers companies. I feel like All Day Supermarket was put together more really to improve their portfolio. Of course, it betters the communities, different developments, their Camellia homes, their Vistaland buildings. So instead of working with the established retailers and supermarket operators, Visaland decided to put up their own supermarket operations so that they can of course make another business out of this opportunity. I can't blame them for that. Also, All Day Supermarket is their anchor tenant in their Vistaland malls. And by operating their own supermarkets in their own malls, they're not only attracting more tenants to their malls, improving the lifestyle of the people who bought condos from them or houses, but also they can make a bit of money from this as a legit business. So I guess the question is, is there anything wrong with that? Nothing is wrong with that per se. But I guess where I'm coming from is that I really don't know if Vista Land has what it takes to thrive in the retail industry. For me personally, their core business is in property development, property management, they have a good track record of putting up affordable housing to iconic buildings and luxurious homes, but I'm not sure if they can be really good at retail. The supermarket business is really cutthroat. I don't have to tell you the key players here of SM, Pure Gold, and Robinsons. SM and Robinsons, even though they're now big conglomerates, they have banks, they have malls, they really start with, with retail as their core business. And this is not to belittle the capabilities of the Vistaland group. I just really have a different reverence for retail as an exacting business. In retail, you're working with very slim margins, extreme efficiency in your operations, which I'm not sure just yet if Vistaland can really compete here. So the competitors I mentioned, they've been around for decades and they've really built up their operational efficiency to the T. So yes, I just feel like retail is a whole different mountain to climb for the Vistaland group. Retail sales are actually harder to predict. It's not like the Robinson Street or Mega World REIT, wherein after they sign a contract, they are assured revenues, sales coming from the tenants, from their BPO locators. For retail, for supermarkets, it's just that much harder to predict. Sure, they're expanding quite quickly, rapidly with it, and maybe that's where I'm coming from also with some apprehension that I don't know if really they can scale and scale outside their own properties. So I've read through the prospectus and one of the things that they are really proud of would be their newly launched website. They say that the website is already getting a good percentage of their sales. 
but online retail is again a different beast altogether. I guess my feeling is that if in traditional retail, I don't know if all day supermarket can really compete. Then in e-commerce, I also don't know if they can compete here. But the great thing about e-commerce is that the manual here is still being written. None of the local supermarket chains have figured it out just yet. So there might be some good potential here for all day. But since it's so new, I just really wouldn't know if they're gonna be able to figure this out if they're gonna be ahead of the competition or maybe they're just gonna be so-so. But in the short history of the e-commerce space, we've seen so far that only the pure e-commerce players are actually thriving. Shopee, Lazada, and a few smaller players. So let's see if Vistaland, all the supermarket group, are gonna be able to hack it. Okay, so number one was quite long. So moving on to number two. Let's now quickly go into the brand positioning of all the supermarket. Aldi Supermarket says that they're trying to position their stores in the upper middle class bracket. And for me personally, as a shopper, I do appreciate the aesthetics of Aldi Supermarkets. I like their selections. I get what they're trying to do in positioning themselves a little higher than the typical competition. But for me, that's really easier said than done. In concept, it always seems easy enough. You have your high tier positioning here. You have your low tier positioning here with low price. And in the middle, it always seems like it's an easy niche to target. But in the supermarket space, that mid-tier here between rock bottom prices and upper scale supermarkets would be really a big challenge. Let's look at the competition. So Pure Gold is in the bottom tier. They have the best offers, best prices. And for the upper scale, you have the newly acquired marketplace, previously by Restance, now owned by Robinsons. You have SNR here, also owned by Pure Gold. The middle would actually be Robinson Supermarkets, Save More, and SM Hypermarket. So even though it seems like all the supermarket would be targeting a different niche, this upper middle class bracket, in all honesty, I think that's a very hard niche to target. First of all, you already have your competitors there. And because it's a supermarket business, this isn't a luxury business. For the most part, people are still looking at the lowest prices. And for the higher tiered ones, the branded ones, I guess it would appeal to the higher market. But for me as a shopper, I'm just really looking at what are the best bargains that I can get. And if I'm looking for something really exclusive, then you go up and you buy the higher tiered exclusive products. So what I'm trying to say is that this upper middle class niche that all the supermarket is trying to serve is quite difficult. There may really be a market there, but again, it's easier said than done. And for me, that would be the second reason why I didn't buy into the all day supermarket IPO. Whew. Let's move on to number three. Going back to my first point, I mentioned that all day supermarket and these other Vista Land retail concepts have been put there really to enhance the Vista Land properties, the buildings, and the communities. It's not I'm questioning the legitimacy of the business. I feel like these guys from the Vista Land Group are really making the most of what they can get from the capital markets, from really milking the public into really raising more funds and getting richer. Again, you might ask, is that a bad thing? To put simply, no, they're taking advantage of what the capital markets have to offer them. But what I'm sort of questioning is that I don't think there was a need to separate the IPO of All Home, which happened about two years ago, and all day now, other retailers, SM, Robinsons, they actually just have one public company that's in the retail space. So Robinsons, they have their supermarkets, they have their department store, they have Topshop, Top and there, just as an example. So while these established retail players just have one public company that's managing the retail operations, here comes All Home, here comes All Day, and I feel like they're just making the most of what they can get from the market. Sure, they're well known. Sure, they have great properties. But I feel like you have to be careful in parting with your hard-earned money in investing in their companies. I mean, All Home after debuting two years ago, it's actually trading within the same price of the IPO. If I'm not mistaken, today it's down by 15%. So yeah, I mean, capitalists are gonna capitalize and you also have to look out for yourself. So that's why I've been selective if in fact I should be investing in all day supermarket. 
All right, so those are my three reasons. Knowing what I know now, knowing that I could have at least gained 50% returns on the first day, do I regret not investing in the all-day IPO? Hmm. <laughs> well, looking at the stock and how it's traded, I honestly don't think that it fits my personality. I see myself more of a long-term investor. So I'm thinking if I got into the IPO, I honestly think that I wouldn't know when to sell. Historically, I've not had great exits when it comes to these things. So I guess the answer would be no. And that's not me just putting up a front or being proud. Like I shared with you earlier, my opinions about all the supermarket have remained even though they have a good captured market. I just don't know if they're really gonna be competing head to head with established competitors that have established themselves in the industry for decades now. Alright, so that's about it. If you agree or disagree with me, I'd love to hear your comments. Do you have the same apprehensions about all day supermarket? Or are you a stockholder? Did you already sell? How much did you make? <laughs> if you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy investing.